In the state of Tennessee, there's a rich history of women's and girls basketball. At Bradley Central High School, we have pride in our winning tradition. Jason Reuter. I'm the head coach of the Bradley Central Bandits basketball team. It's my uh, 23rd year at Bradley, but 10 as the Bandits coach. So uh, I'm uh, honored to coach this team and, and to be a head man of a program with this type of tradition. Uh, we could talk all day long about Jim Smitty, but what he meant to this school, his name is uh, resonates all over the Southeast when you talk about high school girls basketball. Now his generation, a lot of them are older and passed on, but his name is still remembered. Uh, and you can be in Memphis or you can be in Bristol, Tennessee, and somebody in the group will know who Jim Smitty is because he was once, for many, many years, the all-time winningest coach in the history of high school basketball, boys or girls. It's been broken in recent years. I came to Lee University to play basketball, and uh, I, we catch ourselves at a game or two over here, maybe Bradley Cleveland game. You know, it's a place to be on a Friday night, and I'd catch the last quarter of the girls' game. Not interested in the girls' game. It's funny how God gives you daughters and you change your mind, but but you learn who Jim Smitty was very quickly. You know, that floor is named after, the gym's named after him. And I'm kind of a, a, a historian, I guess, when it comes to the sport I'm coaching. So uh, long before I took over the Barrettes, I researched everything I could about Jim Smith, and uh, I, I'll never live long enough to break his records. He started young, coached all the way up till I think he was 70 years old when he retired here. And uh, it's never been—I've never set in my dreams to uh, be Jim Smitty. You know, there's only one Jim Smitty. The history of the Barretts goes back to the 1920s. They won their first district title in 1932 and their first state championship in 1962. In 1975 and 76, they were undefeated, which led to a national ranking. The rest is history, with 64 district titles, 41 regional titles, and six state championships. The program has produced many players who have gone on to play at the collegiate level. Hi, I'm Brittany Jackson. I played for the Barretts in 1999 to 2001. I mean, you know, I grew up, my aunt, um, whose jersey is retired, played here. My mother played for the Barretts. So I grew up watching the Barretts. And, you know, it just it really is just in your blood, me and my sister both. And, um, you know, this gym has so many memories for me. I mean, times that, I would come when I was little. I started playing basketball when I was four years old. You know, I didn't have much of a choice. I was forced in the gym. So, Barrett basketball, it's just, when you grow up, it, it's kind of like you grow up watching the Lady Balls. You grow up, I grew up watching the Barrettes, and it's a program that you dream to play for. And, and um, you know, I played for for three years, and it led me to, you know, further and play for the Lady Balls. So, um, Barrett basketball is, it's in my blood all the way up until now, Coach Reuter. I mean, it's just been a high standard for Barrett basketball. So, um, you know, it's just, uh, there's been some great coaches here at Bradley and, and the Barretts and you know, success speaks for itself. I would love to see film of, you know, some of the stories that my mom and my aunt told me. But, uh, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's an honor to have played for the Barretts.
Tennessee in 1976. And they had just come off winning a couple of uh, state championships and national championships. So when I arrived here in Cleveland, it was a big deal. And uh, that's, they were still playing three on three at the time. Uh, and I went to Cleveland High School and graduated and competed against uh, Bradley and uh, always the, you know, the Barrett program was, was con you know, it had a had tradition when I got here and then it just keeps going on. So I think tradition is the biggest thing that, uh, that the Barretts mean, it's just tradition. Coming to Bradley, it's really, it really is a sisterhood. Everyone comes and puts in the work every day here for hours and I think that's part of what makes us successful. We all push each other from, we call them the goal team, that helps the varsity get ready for games, works hard, and they guard us and helps us work harder. Be ready for the pressure, take care of the ball. I've got five timeouts before you lose it, take one. I also told you turnovers aren't all equal. We explained yesterday which turnover would I rather have, a 10 second violation or a pass to the middle that leads to a layup. Yeah, so just don't get in a play fast, but not in a hurry. You know that they're going to come in double. This is nothing you've been playing basketball your whole life. That's fine. Let them come in double. We're in the right spots. Get the ball to the middle, and let's play four against three. They want to come and double us in full court, and not dare them to come and double us. Brooke Copeland is one of the two-time best of preps female athlete of the year in the whole area. That's 80-some high schools. And I don't get a vote on that. That's Chattanooga Times awards they have every year. So just a tremendous athlete. My daughter and her were nicknamed the Twin Towers. You know, my daughter went to Middle Tennessee and Brooke went to Florida. You know, that, that first year I took over, the, those two girls were freshmen. They made an impact immediately. Of course, Brooke ended up being a four-year starter here. She's uh, one of the many Barrett's that's made me proud. Jones, work the ball. Jones, work the ball. Jones, get on the ball. Get on the ball. Cut the move. Try to post up. Post up. Get on the ball. Jones, get on the ball. Get on the ball. Anna Walker is a uh, She's my captain senior graduating this year. She was captain last year, so two-time captain. You don't get that very easily here. And I, the team doesn't pick the captain, I do. But ultimately, I found out. I may put the name on the captain, but I usually know who the leader is. And uh, if you mess up, the team will pick the captain for you. But I, I haven't messed up in that walk. I'm Anna Walker. I'm a senior here at Bradley. I just finished up my season. Um, I've played all four years here. The program has taught me a lot about being a person on and off the floor, um, about being a leader, learning all the qualities and characteristics of that, and being there for my teammates especially, because we're a family, so I mean, I'm going to be like attached to these girls for life, so they're all my sisters now. She's a warrior. She's our pulse. She's our heartbeat. And that's the thing I'm going to miss about her, just setting the tone, you know, on, on you know, on average teams, nobody leads. On good teams, coaches lead. On great teams, players lead. And Anna Walker led by example. And that's what I'm gonna miss about her. I gotta find somebody else that'll bring that lunch pail every day. Be a leader, be respected. You gotta have respect to your team. But when you bring it every day and play hard and practice every day, and you're watching that and you're a freshman and sophomore, you're that's the best player on the team. She's playing hard every practice. She ain't taking one. She just dove on the ball in practice. I ain't got no choice. I got to play hard. That's what I'm going to miss about that one. Being a Barrett has really taught me about having determination and a will to win because Coach Reuter does like to win and so do we. It's taught me to have work ethic through even at school because he does. Like being a Barrett, you are held to a higher standard at Bradley, especially in your schoolwork and your classes and everything like that. So. You've got to do good in the classroom to be able to do good on the floor. My name is Katie Burroughs. I am the head women's basketball coach at UT Chattanooga. Um, I just finished my second season as head coach. Um, and prior to that, I was an assistant for eight years. Anna committed very early as a junior to Samford. Well, when Coach Morris retired, she said to her mom and dad, like, I think I want to reopen my recruitment. 
we reached out to Coach Reuter and we're talking with him about, you know, kind of what her thoughts were initially before we reached out to her. And he said, Katie, I think she really wants to stick around. And so from there started the conversation. I immediately got on the phone with her and started talking through things with her, got her down to campus pretty quickly and uh, showed her around. It wasn't more than just a few weeks after she called and said, hey coach, can I come down and see you today? And so the, the rest is kind of history there. We've been able to follow her all year long and I think she's going to um, be able to be a light for her teammates. Um, I know she'll get along with them just character wise and she would run through a wall if I asked her to and you can't teach that. We're just looking forward to having the opportunity to actually get her on the court and teach her. I actually texted her the other night, hey, how's everything going? Are you guys staying healthy? Yeah, everything's great. And then I said, kid, I can't wait for a couple more months from now so I can start coaching you. And she's like, I know coach, I can't wait. So I'm uh, looking forward to it. With a final score of 68 to 43. Ryan Howard, I can say this without any regrets, and none of my former players will be mad at me. I'll say that she's the best player that I ever coached. I didn't say the best bear of all time. I can't say that because I didn't coach those ladies. You know, the Liz Jacksons, the Brittany Jacksons. Zandra Morris, or Zandra, I want to be back then, 1970. Jody Adams, who led the Lady Vols to a national championship. So I can't, that would be unfair for me to say that. So I'm just saying the best barrier that I've coached is Ryan Howard. I'm Ryan Howard and I played at, for Bradley Central from 2014 to 2018. Just being a Playboard winning program like Bradley it just was a great feeling, like you know that everyone's going to be supportive and you're going to have a lot of fans and even if you do have those games where you don't play like you need to, they're still going to be there and just be have your back all the time. Every day in practice was hard. It was a battle between me and my teammates. He definitely kept all the practices intense and so I think that really prepared us because, you know, all our practices are long and hard and they just want us to, the practices to be harder than the games. Being at Bradley, we were definitely the top team in the district, so playing at Kentucky, it was a lot more competition and a lot more physicality. I think my experience there has been great, seeing as Coach Reuter and Bradley prepared me for the best. It's just, my first two years have been nothing but great. She's making me look bad, really. You know, I've had people question why I couldn't have won a state championship with Ryan Howard. <laughs> But we wouldn't have won it last year without her being here. She led us to games and let us play in national tournaments and state tournaments and big time games that put these kids, after she left, she basically had them under her wings and she flew off to Kentucky and these girls had already played in a lot of big time games. So we don't win that championship in 19 without Ryan Howard, best player I love all of them. I love them all. There's two I love the most. That's Rebecca and Amid. They're my daughters. Probably harder on them the most, but best basketball player. She can do it all. Ryan Howard. This year was, it was very enjoyable, very rewarding. Uh, we had some uh, tough breaks. Some people call them tough breaks, but you know, I, the older I get, they're just life lessons, you know? It's, nobody died. We had an injury. We had a girl tear a meniscus. Uh, my best player rolls her ankle before we play in a state tournament. Our girls thought they were gonna win, even with our captain over there in the boot. They thought they were going to win, and uh, that's the mentality this team had. I mean, they won a district regular season. They won the district tournament. That's nine, nine regular seasons in a row, ten district tournaments in a row. They won the region. 
We won it nine out of 10 years. We won the sub-state. They went back to Murfreesboro and bad luck struck us, but there's bad luck striking our teams right now. They didn't even finish the state term. So there's no state champion this year. And uh, as upset as we were about losing Anna, I'm sure those teams that are left are very upset about their year. So this group will always have a special place. I got a daughter that's part of the graduating class. Anna Walker, Alexis Barnes, Camry Mayo. You're just a little closer to that group because you've got a kid in that group. They've been playing AAU longer together. They may go to church with them. They may, uh, may have went to elementary school with them. You get my point. It's just a t they've had sleepovers at your house long before they ever played basketball here. So uh, I think they give us all they had and, and 29 and 4. And, with the record we played and, and the adversity we had. I think Coach Smitty would be proud. I think he's looking down and he's, I think he's proud of the Brad program right now. The winning tradition continues at Bradley Central High School. The Barretts are still the winningest program in history in the state of Tennessee. That's the Barrett way.